Hi guys, we are here with uh, Paul Fratesi from SideFX. I am very happy to, to meet you. Great, thank you for having me here. So, we can start uh, with uh, um, a few questions about uh, your company. Sure. You work for SideFX, you are the account uh, for SideFX. SideFX uh, produces uh, Houdini. Houdini is very good software mm -hmm. and um, is uh, more uh, diffusion for uh, create the VFX in the VFX section. Uh, the dimension of your company is uh, relatively small, is not very big respect to other. So this is uh, very good for a community, for uh, help uh, for the user, for communicate with the user. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we're located in Toronto, Canada. Uh, we're approximately about 75 people with 50% of our, our uh, employees focused on the development of the product. Um, the great part of being a company our size is, is how quickly and agile we can move in the development phase of our products and get to the customers, uh, as well as enable our customers to have a very unique voice directly into development to uh, have that product fit their requirements. And that's very unique. Uh, and we're taking a lot of uh, time and effort to enable our structure to be in this uh, capacity as, as we grow. As you know, we've gone through tremendous growth over the past three years, but we truly believe that uh, recipe is going to enable our continued success over the number of years. Can you talk about your uh, the licensee? Because you have sure. more a different kind of licensee for uh, your uh, package, and it's uh, very, very interesting. Right. Um, you know, it's important for us to understand that uh, companies are uh, built in many different ways. Uh, right from we talk about students uh, who are learning our product, uh, downloading the product, who know nothing about us and have to engage. Uh, the last thing we want to do is encumber them with costs that they may not be able to handle. So we provide apprentice. An apprentice, uh, apprentice is basically a full Houdini FX, fully capable application that allows them to experience Houdini throughout. Uh, there are limitations in terms of resolution output and watermarking, but for a training perspective, it's a fantastic tool available, and we have thousands of downloads every year. Uh, very successful tool for us. Moving from there, we have Houdini Indie, and Houdini Indie is, again, it's a full Houdini FX like a commercial license, which I'll get to, uh, that allows uh, the smaller companies who have revenues under $100,000 US to be able to run a license uh, and output right through HD quality. Experience all of the special effects that we offer from pyro to sand uh, to, uh, to the others that uh, uh, we're very famous for, as well as working with our modeling and animation tools. So uh, we completely leave that open for them to use, but again, uh, design for those medium to small companies who have limited revenue. Again, allowing them to experience the product and build their businesses on a world-class tool. Finally, we have our commercial product, which most people are familiar with, uh, so the Houdini FX tools, uh, as well as the Houdini base tools, uh, that are fully unencumbered in terms of resolution output, uh, and as well as no restrictions in terms of use, in terms of size of your company. So, uh, and we're all familiar with the, with the companies out there that are using, whether it's the Technicolor, the Pixar's, the, the Animal Logics, the Weta's of the world, who are very much uh, uh, in use of our technology in that space. When you go out with uh, Indy yes. in a licensee, yes. uh, you see the customer, your customer is change uh, or you can improve more to the customer? Well, the whole objective is, is to allow more people at a, at a lower cost to consume the software and use it. What's amazing for us is, you kind of um, touched on it, was where the technology is being used. Um, you know, there, there was a, a very definite uh, look to the gaming market. In terms of Houdini and being used for these people producing these games that have uh, that require massive amount of content, and of course our procedural approach, which we've uh, uh, been working with right from day one, uh, we almost consider ourselves the father of procedural modeling, uh, is is so much a part of what's happening in the games world, and we and we know exactly the the indie games world how big it is. So again, they have very limited funds, and we're trying to find ways to to help them out. So. Uh, not only on the visual effects for the feature films, uh, which is important, but the, we're recognizing the gaming push. And so the development of this product was, was in part because of that community requirement and, and the price point we had to meet uh, while working with limitations uh, of the technology that fit that space.
you go out more in the last two version just to release yes you go out more fast yeah why it, it's been well known in the industry that uh, side effects develops a tremendous amount of new technology on an annual basis um, which is why um, we enjoy being and need to be customer centric and we continue to do because they really truly drive the development of our product most of those people who have used our support team and directly into our, our, our bug and, and uh, support database know how closely they are to development and how quickly we can turn it around. So not only are we producing point releases where, where we decide at what point the amount of new content we have to output, which you know, is, is a major decision to make, uh, but we also have daily builds. So a lot of our customers that run into challenges uh, and, and of course, every uh, piece of software has bugs uh, in turning the largest companies. We can actually turn around a problem to a solution and deliver it the next day. Very unique in the industry, but very important for those clients who are in projects that need answers right away. And that's part of the allure of our company and the mystique of, of side effects and how we work. And again, it goes back to how we organize our company and work as a team. So, so again, part and parcel of our tremendous and continuous success. You do very good job because Houdini, I think uh, it's uh, only software you can use without plugin, without uh, another plugin from right. another agency. Because, for example, if uh, I want to do a simulation of fluid, you have uh, your system inside right. Houdini, it's very good, it's right. very fast, you can do uh, Pyrofax, uh, yes. and, and etc. This is, uh, right. or you can uh, create with uh, the scripting if yes. you. Know the scripting, the user yes. know the scripting can right. do the better, right? Right. right. We have a, a tremendous range of users, whether the power users or the new users. And we've done a really outstanding job uh, implementing new technology around our shelf tools to enable people to create effects very quickly, use it for education, to dive in there and find out exactly how things are built. Uh, this is extremely important for us. Uh, again, going back to our, our continued success and broadening the market. What's interesting to note is uh, our technology really started out, if people remember back to PRISMS, uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, was designed as a motion graphics solution. So we were an animation motion graphics product and it just kind of morphed and moved over where special effects people took a real liking uh, and requirement to the procedural approach that we gave. Uh, so that's always been a part of our, our pieces. The fact that it's, it is all there. And some of our uh, customers who are doing major work across the board, whether it's, it's film, uh, whether it's commercial or, or in gaming, they love the fact that the pipeline can stay in one, one product as much as possible because they're not dealing with format changes, moving data in and out, because that's non-productive work. And if everybody could have one format and move it through the pipeline, life would be so much easier. And I think we've done one of the best jobs in the industry on bringing that to the table. And we have so many success stories around that conversation, um, you know, right from the initial uh, modeling and animation piece, right through our final rendering with Mantra. So keeping it within the pipeline, within one application, enabling you to do multiple iterations. And the more iterations, the more ideation process, uh, uh, repetitions you can, you can pull together, uh, better opportunity for success and the shorter timeline. Uh, and everyone loves the shorter timeline because time's money. So uh, it's, it's been a big, uh, big propo we're a proponent of that, uh, that workflow. Also, you have a very good uh, website where people can uh, find a uh, uh, tutorial for started yes. and yes. advanced. You yes. have uh, the uh, team is working only on this. Yes, absolutely. We've, we've actually taken uh, a much uh, stronger position in developing material. Uh, especially working in shorter length, getting started videos. Uh, it's so critical for those people, especially who are downloading for the first time, to have a positive experience. You know, of course, they all want to go in there. The first thing they want to do is smash something, you know, create, create an explosion. So, so we've found a way to quickly get success uh, using our shelf tools, using these close, these short videos that have, they're easy to download, easy to understand. Uh, and we're continuing to create more, but we still don't, abandon the requirement to understand some of the more deeper requirements in the market. So the master classes, which, which are all online. So we're leveraging the internet, leveraging the social media to get the message out. And it's been a tremendous success and we're going to continue to build on it. Okay. Now we can change the sector. Okay.
okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's uh, your first time in Paris for this event. For this event, yeah. yes. What do you think about it? What, I, what I'm taking away from, from the IMAG event here is, is the quality of the people, the art they're generating, and the passion. You know, they're here to be inspired. I'm inspired by what I'm seeing and energized for the market. I mean, it's known throughout the world that France is a, a, the cultural art center of the world. And when you experience IMOG, you, you feel it and you see it. So we're, we're really pleased to be here. I think it's been a great week. Uh, and we're looking to, to leverage even further next year because the people who are here know we're here. I mean, a lot of the events and presentations are mentioning Houdini. Um, they're asking us, are you presenting? Are, uh, what are you, are, you know, they're after, they're pulling us in. And that's a great testament to uh, not only the development of our product, uh, but it's the people's recognition of the capabilities of our tools uh, to really support their art because it really is about them. It's not about us and the product, it's about the art and what they want to do. And we're just providing the tool set to enable them to express themselves. And that is what's coming back to us here. So that's a great, great validation for our company. What, uh, for you, the futures of computer graphic? Because uh, out, for example, the VR technology, mm -hmm. the 3D print, the, okay, it's maybe right. it's not uh, your sector, it's not right. uh, FX, but right. uh, what do you think in the next future? Well, the one thing is certain is change. Um, you know, we believe every two years this industry almost goes through a reset uh, in terms of capabilities of the software, uh, especially on the hardware side. You know, there's all this discussion about running uh, on the GPU, uh, performance, speed, um, but overall it's about change. Um, we're, we've embraced change. Our, our customers who know us really well, we're not afraid of change. Uh, some companies stay the course. Uh, we're a little more on the other side. And the, the people who understand that's the way we work, they really embrace the way we approach it. So we're going to continue to change. We're going to look for opportunities to advance the tools at every step and go fast. It's just going to go fast. And I think that is what our, uh, what our customers and our, uh, want and, and we're addressing. So we're continually learning, bringing in new people into the company who bring new fresh ideas. Uh, so we're not static. So if you're static, uh, you die in this business. So we're going to go fast and we're going to continue to improve. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And uh, I hope to see you in the next year or in another event. Absolutely. Okay. Pleasure. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.